More mayhem at Kansas City Trump rally. Can we all just get along? <laughs> you probably already heard that after protesters shut down a Trump rally in Chicago, depending on your viewpoint, protesters in Kansas City Saturday night ended up being brutally tear gassed by thuggish police or became so agitated the cops had no choice but to tear gas the rowdy crowd to maintain order. <sighs> Wouldn't it be nice if every hissing Hillary fan, every thick-headed Trump supporter, every bombastic Bernie bro, and every, well, let's just say those with at least mild passion for Cruz or Rubio, could go to their respective rallies, listen to their chosen politician lie for a couple hours, and then go home and get a good night's sleep? A nice fantasy, but that's not gonna happen. Why? Because this is America, gosh darn it, and noisy protests are as American as the Boston Tea Party. Freedom of speech is freedom of speech, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There is, however, no freedom to punch. We can't say if cops in Missouri really needed to tear gas anti-Trump protesters on Saturday night. The guy who shot this video certainly didn't think so. But all this nastiness is getting downright un-American. Politicians and their followers have the right to say, even at great volume, pretty much anything they want to say. And so do you. And so does the Westboro Baptist Church. You know, the God Hates Fags protesters. Yeah, even them. And, according to Business Insider, the church actually makes a good chunk of their money suing and winning over some entity blocking their right to protest. 100k from the state of Kansas in 1995, the report claims. So pose for pics with your enemies. Kiss your same-sex partner in front of them. Hold signs, scream, march, or stand on your freaking head. America is the land of peaceful freedom of speech, so sound off in the comments if you love freedom. And if you don't, well, go right ahead and sound off as well. Just like, don't be a dick about it.